And now, live from C Nation Studios at Irwin Academy, it's the C Nation Podcast Show! Hey everybody, how's it going? Today is March 25th, and we're back with another lesson. We're getting down to the end of the first week of lessons. I am not doing these lessons according to Monday through Friday week. These lessons are all according to how I managed to get through every instrument. All right. So week one, this is for drummers. All right. We are at the end of week one. These are my Pullmark drumsticks. They are very much to use as you can see. They have a special grip on them, so that way they don't move around so much, and they have little ribs on them. So um, you could pick them up at your local music store, or if you're in the high desert, they have them in stock at Rollover Beethoven's. So uh, when all this is said and done, go check out some drumsticks. If you don't have drumsticks, if you don't have your buckets, if you don't have your drum, if you don't have your drum pad, um, you know, that's kind of a problem. You're supposed to have your drum pad all the time. I do not have a drum pad. There's one somewhere in my house, but I'm just not looking for it. I'm just going to play on my desk right now. Um, you don't need sticks to play the drums, all right? You don't need drums to play the drums. We've proven that this year, especially with the bucket class. People were looking at them like, buckets? Buckets aren't drums. And then they proved themselves out on stage because they were awesome. If you have your family's permission, you can use some pots and pans. Maybe you have a bucket around the house that you can bang on if it's okay with your family. Get a shoebox. I've seen somebody, a professional drummer. I watched a video because, as you guys know, um, I'm part of this uh, organization called Little Kids Rock. And I, I learned a lot at this conference that I went to this last year. And um, a famous drummer, a drummer for uh, Billy Joel. His name is Liberty DeVito. Check him out. Um, he shared a, a video of how he's practicing drums. And he's been playing drums for, I think he said, about 30 years. And he lives in an apartment. So he can't have a drum set. And he doesn't have electronic drums. So how is he practicing? He got two spatulas from his kitchen. He got a cereal box. Put some foil on top of the cereal box. And he got, I think he got a lid. Oh, no, he got a plastic plate that he would use for a hi-hat. So he had his cereal box as a snare, a plastic plate for a hi-hat. And then he would just hit something with his foot or stomp on his foot. And that's how he would play drum set. And this is all, like, recently. He shared this video this week. And um, it was really interesting because it didn't stop him from playing. And if you miss playing the drums, but you don't have access to drums, you're all very smart. And I know you could figure out a way to satisfy that thirst to play drums. Okay, Find another way. There's always another way. Even if still you have nothing to do, rock band drummers, you were taught this at the beginning of the year because we didn't have instruments for everybody. Body drum set. I want to go over that real quick for all of you that may not have heard of this at all especially my band drummers okay so with your right hand this hand the one where you look at it it doesn't make an L if you look at your hand like this and as you're looking at it not me don't match up with me okay this is making an L this is making a backwards L the hand that makes an L is your left hand if not, if you really don't you know you're right and you're left, ask somebody at your house, okay? Um, take your right hand put it on your shoulder. Just like this, all right? Tap your shoulder a couple times. This is your hi-hat. Your left hand, lay it on your leg. Sit in a chair. You probably can't really do the standing up. It might be a little difficult, okay? So your right hand is across, kind of like if you're giving yourself a hug. All right, your left hand is on your leg. When you play these two together, you're creating your own body drum set. And 
and your right foot, this foot, not this foot, you want to stomp on the ground, okay? Like if you are being mean and you're stepping on somebody's toes, or if you're actually playing the drum set and you know what I'm talking about when you're putting your foot on the bass drum pedal, okay? Then you start making beats. Start simple, okay? Start leg, left hand, leg, left hand. And I'll use my armrest right here. You can see it. Boom, tap, boom, tap, boom, tap, stomp, tap, foot, tap, foot, tap. And that's easy because I'm sure it'll get really easy really quick. Start adding your hi-hat, your right hand, okay? Start simple. Boom, tap, foot, snare, foot, snare, foot, snare, foot, snare. What's happening is every time I'm stomping my foot, I'm hitting my shoulder at the same time. Not like this. Okay, they have to be together. 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 Then every time I'm hitting my leg, my snare drum or my armrest in this case, I'm also hitting my shoulder, my hi-hat. Just like that, okay? So you're going to go back and forth. Foot and hand. Leg and hand. Foot and hand. Leg and hand. And then you put that into a steady rhythm, not too fast. Tap, boom, tap, boom, tap, boom, tap. Cool? Take it faster. Boom, tap, boom, tap, boom, tap, boom, tap. Then double up your hi-hat, your shoulder, your right hand. Double it up. What I mean by that is play it twice as fast. Like that. Okay? And don't hit yourself too hard. You don't want to get hurt. All right, this is where it gets a little complicated because now you're training your body to do three different things at once. And unless you're already familiar with playing the drums, this might be a little bit of a challenge. Stick with it and you'll be fine. How is this going to help you play the drum set? Well, when you're able to sit down on the throne of a drum set and you've been doing this for this whole time that we're off of school, it'll transition right over to drum set. Your right hand comes over to the hi-hat. Okay, this is why we cross. Your hi-hat is coming over here, across from you. Your snare is right below you, almost like right where your leg is. You stomp your foot, it's like you're playing the bass drum. All right? All this will carry right over to the drum set when you're able to get on a drum set. Okay? So, like I said, doubling up on the hi-hat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Boom. Tap, leg, tap, leg, tap, leg, tap. Okay? Now, you heard me counting a second ago. When I get my drummers started on the drum set, I tell them it's all about counting, okay? It's all like counting to four or like counting to eight. Dep just, dep just depending, just bear with me, okay? Um, you're counting to four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Cool? If you want to count to eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I started extending the numbers longer when um, I'm st I'm ready to make my students, um, when I'm ready to give them a bit of a challenge. Okay, now you got this beat down. Now let's add the crash symbol. Now let's add fills. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, so just go as far as you want. You're able to make your beats now. Okay. When you start getting easy with it, go crazy a little bit, all right? Have fun with it. Um, the more you work at it, the easier it's going to get, the faster it's going to get, okay? And and you'll be happy, watch. If you could do a beat just like this, just wait till you get on a drum set. You'll be very happy that you're doing this practice, okay? And like I said, some of you, oh, by the way, the Dr. Pepper is now open. <laughs> Some of you already know about this body drum set. Some of you are amazing drummers. I have a good amount of drum set players in rock band, sixth grade rock band, fifth grade rock band, fourth grade rock band. You guys have all improved a lot in the short amount of time that we've had instruments. Fifth grade, pff, you guys are rock stars. Sixth grade, there's so much talent there. Just don't be scared. All right? I'm very pleased with all of my modern band classes, with all of my rock band classes, because all of you guys as musicians, drummers, guitarists, keyboardists, singers, bass players, 
you've all done really great work. You know, whether we're performing as a class or you're performing as individuals, you guys are killing it. And I hope you see what I see because it's really cool. Not a lot of people expect kids to do what you guys are doing, and it's awesome. Okay? My band drummers, you guys are awesome. Sixth grade band, we're playing jazz on the drum set. Claps for my sixth grade drummers. My fifth grade band drums, you guys are you guys are killing it. Like the way you're able to read music and figure out rhythms and the amount of work and dedication that you put in your practice, good job. My fourth grade drummers, you guys are just barely getting the surface and I can't wait to see how amazing you guys are gonna be as sixth graders when you're already this good now. Like it's gonna be awesome. Alright. Um, so Okay, Mr. C, I got body drum set. That's going to get real old real quick. What else can I do? You said uh, do some pots and pans and cereal box and blah, blah, blah. Okay, here's the part you're not going to like that I'm going to tell you. Okay, if you really miss music and you really itch into practice, if you've seen any of the other videos, my band students, what I've started them off so far are scales. So guess what, drums? Rudiments and techniques are what you want to do next. Okay, make up simple rhythms. That's the one thing that you can do that I think you'll have the most fun with. Okay, make up little beats, make up rhythms, whatever you want to do. You're all familiar with doing this because we've done it in class. Make up your own song. If you have a drum pad, great. If you're just playing on the carpet or a pillow or your backpack or a cereal box or pots and pans or an actual bucket, make up a song. Okay. If you're watching this right now, you probably have access to technology. So don't just make up a song. Record yourself. That way you can show us when we come back to school. That way you can go back and review it and critique your work. What I mean by critique your work is you go back, look at it, see what you like, see what you don't like. Fix what you don't like or get rid of parts that you don't like. Okay? It's just like when you're writing an essay um, in class. You have your rough draft, okay? You have your editing process where you go back and move parts around for your story or your essay, whatever you're working on. You get other people to analyze your work and make corrections that they see and give their input. Well, it's the same thing, okay? But as musicians, most of the time we could do it ourselves because a lot of us are super picky anyways, okay? So record yourself playing the song that you're making up. Watch it. Maybe you don't like it and you want to redo a take. Maybe you're like, eh, I didn't like that part. Okay? Maybe you have certain parts of your song that you want to move around. Maybe at the end you want to put your ending of your song at the beginning because what you have in the middle works better at the end. You see what I mean? Okay? Don't be afraid to edit your work. This is your song. This is your work. But record yourself and analyze your work. Okay? Here's the part that you're not going to like. Work on your doubles and your paradiddles. This applies to all of my three different types of drummers. My bucket drummers, my drum line members, and my band drummers. Work on your doubles, work on your paradiddles. You all know these, so don't sit there like, what? I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll start with the easy one. A double is right below. Okay. We have R's, meaning your right hand. L, meaning your left hand. A double is simple. It's right, right, left, left. Oh my gosh, that's so hard. Right, right, left, left. Okay, Mr. C, I practice it. I got it perfect. If you're one of my drummers, you know better. All right? Start slow and keep repeating it. Right, right, left, left. Right, right, left, left. Then slowly increase the speed. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. No, because look, what I'm saying is not matching what I'm playing. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. No, that's a single stroke. Okay, single stroke. And if you're doing it repeatedly, it's a single stroke roll. Okay. Man, I really need to get better about setting myself up for success when I'm doing these recordings. All right. This is a single stroke, right, left or left right if you're gonna do it continuously it's a single stroke roll okay double is right right left left 
two hits per hand. One, two, one, two. Okay? Right, right, left, left. Right, right, left, left. Right, right, left, left. Do it with me. If you've never done this before, do it with me. If you have done this before and you're decent at it, well, then you can skip this part, okay? It's not going to be long, and I'm going to get a book to hit. Because, uh, yeah, there we go. That's a lot better. I don't want it to be too loud in the recording, okay? Right, right, and then stop. Just one hand, okay? Look at my hands on my head. I don't need my other hand. One, two, ready, go. Right, right, stop. Again, one, two, ready, go. Right, right, stop. Now let's do the other side. Put my hand on my head. If you don't want to, you don't have to. I don't, I'm just doing this to show you, okay? Left hand, two times. One, two, ready, go. Left, left, stop. Again, one, two, ready, go. Left, left, stop. Now let's put it together. Right, right, left, left. One, two, ready, go. Right, right, left, left, stop. Now let's keep it going. Okay, one, two, ready, go. Right, right, left, left. Right, right, left, left. Right, right, left, left. Good, stop. All right, now, if you can play that, good. All right, that's not the that's not what's going to make this challenging. You want to keep it going, and like I said, you want to increase the speed. Right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Whew, I cannot do that with these sticks at all, and I'm out of practice. Like I say in all my videos. <laughs> Anyways, increase the speed. When you mess up, when you make a mistake, that's when you need to start over. Okay? Because technically, you could do this the whole time and say, "Look, I'm doing it right. I'm playing it perfect," and you know better. Okay? You're the only person that's really gonna know if you make a mistake or not, and you need to challenge yourself and push yourself to recognize your mistakes and improve on them. All right? If you mess up, ah, oh, I messed up. All right, let me start over. This is just practice, okay? I'm lagging on my left hand a little bit, okay? That's what you want to do, okay? It's a great thing to do for warming up, and it's something that you can add to the song that you're making up. Add doubles, okay? Paradiddles. It's a combination of a single stroke and a double okay a single stroke member is right left or left right okay a double is two of each hand one two or one two okay so a paradiddle is single stroke right left and then a double right right or left right left left okay so let's do a paradiddle okay i'm gonna say it we're gonna do this super slow so, right hand, left hand, right hand, right hand again. There you go. You played a paradiddle. Now, let's do the other side. Okay? Left hand, right hand, left hand, left hand. There you go. All right? Now, practice that. Right, left, right, right. There you go. Good. Other side. Left, right, left, left. Good. Just like a double, though, you want to increase the speed and keep it. Keep the beat going. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Do it with me. Same speed, okay? We're going to go right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. And it'll be right here, right below me, okay? One, two, ready, go. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Keep going. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left. Keep going. Right, left, right 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 left right left left then stop okay now make it faster for yourself right left right right left right left left right left right right left right left left okay what's the point of these well it helps your precision it helps your speed when you get on a drum set you'll be able to move around the drum set okay there's so many drum resources on youtube guys you should check them out i'm going to include a couple things that you can do for practice in the comments below in the comments in the description below check them out some of them you might think are a little silly but i can totally see my bucket class doing some of this and it'd be really cool 
learn some of these things, okay? One of the best resources that I use to learn new things on drums is Drumio, which I will include a link to their YouTube page in the description below. There's so much stuff, especially if you have access to a drum set, you can start playing some of the stuff now, okay? They have some amazing drummers that they bring on as guests on their show, and you can learn a lot from every single one of them. So check it out, okay? Um, yeah, drums and paradiddles, guys. That's what you want to go for. Um, we're going to end this video a little bit sooner than normal because I want you guys to do everything that I've asked. Okay, work on this stuff. If you're a drummer, you should be practicing. There's no excuse for you not to practice. I don't have a drum. I don't have my bucket. I don't have a drum pad. You're a drummer. Your whole body's a drum set. Come on. A lot of you guys would just hit the table in the cafeteria anyways. <gasps> Ooh. Come on. I'm a drummer. Some of you were probably some of those kindergartners from way back in the day in my old classroom where you would sit out by my door and play on your buckets and shovels while my drum line was practicing. Mm. Yeah, so no excuse. There's no excuse for drummers, okay? If you're a sax player and you left your saxophone in my classroom and you don't have a saxophone at the house, then yeah, you can't practice. I mean, you could do the fingerings, but it's not the same. Drummers, the whole world is your drum. So, get to practicing, okay? Make up a song. Critique your song. Practice your doubles. Practice your paradiddles. Every single one of you, bucket, drum line, band drums, you should all be, pra and, and, and modern band, rock band drummers, you should all be practicing the drum set. Why? Because you never know one day you might end up on a drum set. Because it's still drumming. Because it doesn't matter if you're playing one drum or multiple drums. You are all still drummers. Cool? All right. We're at 22 minutes. I think this is the shortest lesson video that I've done. Uh, might even be shorter than the flute one. So... I hope you guys are all doing well. I miss all of you. I'm thinking about all of you. Um, I know I speak for all of the teachers at the school. And we say we all miss you. We can't wait to see you again. Get right back into school. I know you probably never thought you guys would think that you miss school. <laughs> but, you know, it, it's all right. And by the time we get back into school, don't worry. My beard will be back. All right? <laughs> um, I just thought it'd be funny if I had a big old mustache to distract you guys gotta keep my videos entertaining right all right well you guys take care and uh is today wednesday oh there goes my phone yeah today's wednesday wow i'm trying my best to keep track of the day it's sometimes i forget all right have a great wednesday see you guys soon peace